everyone and good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my shop. My name is Bill Tabbert. Our shop today is in Diamond Head, Mississippi. We're going to talk about washing in and washing out or leaving wings level. Uh, first off, it's important to understand what the wash in, wash out is. Uh, oftentimes people get it confused with the dihedral. Charlie, come on in the uh, workshop here. Don't hit the aircraft. My son Charlie is the one videoing today. Notice a steady hand, hopefully. So Charlie, if you look over here, please. So we got dihedral. Dihedral is looking at the aircraft, uh, you know, forward or aft. And if it's totally uh, level, you got zero degrees. When they're up like this, like our uh, Lance or most aircraft, you have positive dihedral. And that's almost always not able to be set. Uh, some canards or whatnot use some negative dihedral. Charlie, come on over follow me if you don't mind. Dihedral on this Volmer is set. It's not adjustable. So you got your struts attached to the uh, points there on the wings. And on the fuselage, you have this fixed point. Now, if there was a turnbuckle right here, as there is right here, then you could adjust the dihedral. But uh, you just hope you follow the plans or take good measurements, and the dihedral is set. This setting right here is what we're going to be talking about today. That's for the wash on the wings. All right, so if you step on in the uh, office here, and we're going to explain actually how to calculate the degrees, hopefully where everybody can understand it, either to wash them in or wash them out, and what that means. I'm going to try to make it to where everybody can understand it. All right. So if you look right here on our, our I was explaining this to my son a little bit ago. You take a virtual line, and, and uh, since this airfoil is flat on the bottom, it's easy. If you have a, 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 a non-Hershey bar, a, a laminar wing, it's a little more difficult. But this is going to be easy. We can put our, our level right on the bottom of the airfoil. Now, if it's zero, there's no wash. The wash is the twist of the wing, all right? So if the back, the trailing edge is up, you have negative wash. If it's down, you have positive wash. Now, if you back up here, son, and take a look. This is a, a template that we use to make, uh, that's actually for a rocket champ template uh, to, to make the ribs, okay? Let's say this represents the rib closest to the airframe. We're going to set this level, and this is the buck for it. So let's say this represents the tip, all right? So come back over here, son. If this is like that, that is going to be negative wash, or that's going to be wash out or negative, all right? That's what wash out looks like. That's no wash whatsoever or zero degrees, and this is washing it in. Now, whatever aircraft you're building, you need to certainly know uh, what this plan is called for. The Volmer doesn't really specify, so we're, we're going to go with what the wings are, which are Ronca Champ. And a Ronca Champ is a little sketchy on the uh, reference, but the best we can figure it's supposed to be zero wash, and that's what we're going to set it to. Now, how to set it? Again, I'm going to go over that one more time. That's positive, or wash in. Neutral, and that's negative, or wash out. This being the root of the airplane, near the airplane with the wing, and that's the tip, all right? So we'll set that elaborate setup down. Now, you can do this with a regular old level. Now, I don't, uh, I don't mean grab, this is my grandfather's level. It's awesome. I actually use it. It's pretty accurate. But for this today, we're not going to be using it. We're going to put that on a shelf and use a nice... Very accurate level. I'm not talking about one that's been laying in the teal box, got knocked around a hundred times, and it's not accurate. And with a level, you want to check them. So I took and look at the uh, the bubble, all right, and it's a little bit to the right. So is a is a level off or is the bench off? So now I'm going to take the level and turn it around, put it in the exact same place, and I have the same results. I got a little bit to the right, so the level is accurate and the bench is off. Now I also 
will take the time and draw an arrow on the level because I always want to place it on the aircraft in the exact same place. Let's say you want a half a degree, just for figure sakes, we're going to go one degree wash out or wash in. The way to calculate that is pretty easy and there's tools online to help you and I'll put a link in the web uh, the description down below. Now I like to, we're here in the USA. In the USA, we use the peg and thumb, inches, feet, and all that sort of stuff. But for this, doing the calculations is way easier in metric. So if you're in the US, you can, can try to convert it to a 16th of an inch if you want, but I really recommend you use the metric system for this one, like our, our friends to the north in the Canada. All right, so we happen to know that a four-foot level is 1,000 219.2 millimeters long. That's an important figure, 1,219.2 millimeters long. All right, and let's say we, if it's, you know what? If it's level, it's not a problem. You set this up on the bottom of your airfoil level and go to the tip and you keep adjusting it till it's level, job done. That's if it's level. But let's say we want some washout. There's a website. And they're all over the place, and I'll put this link to this one, but it's just calculating the slope on something. So we put the length in there, 1,219.2, and I put in 21.5 millimeters elevated at one side. That gives you a one degree angle. That's how easy it is. So all I have to do is set this level at the root of the wing, and whether I want it washed in or washed out, I level the other side to 21.5 millimeters away from the wing on one side on the bottom, and I will have my angle. It's that easy. If I want it washed out, I put it on the other side. Now, placement of these. Now, I, I, I hope everybody gets that, and I'll be happy to answer questions uh, for anybody that has them. Let's say I wanted a half a degree. Right now, that's about one degree angle. Let's say I want a half a degree angle, so half a 21. Let's just call it uh, 10. 10 millimeters, a very famous socket. Calculate that. So, a a standard four foot level being 1,219.2 millimeters, one end of it being 10 millimeters, ah, 10 millimeters off the airfoil will result in just about a half a degree washout. Very easy. All right. So where to place them on the airfoil? So again, this is a Hershey, what they call a Hershey bar wing. It's pretty easy. Now we have rivets uh, to contend with, and then there's a fuel tank right here, so on and so forth. As close to the route as you can get, you want. Now we've jacked up this aircraft and leveled it off and you have a little bit of imperfection. This is a fabric airplane, but that's just dead nuts level right there. And we did compare to the other side, and it's the same way. It's very, almost exactly the same. So if uh, a sheet metal plane probably is a little smoother, but it's very important when you take your measurements, Don't you can take a little pencil mark and make sure you put the level exactly in the same place every single time, all right? So we got it level here, and we're going to go to the uh, tip of the aircraft, uh, on the wing rather. And this rib here happens to be the same dimensions and everything as the uh, as a root. So we're going to place that right there. Come around here, son. Look from the back, and you'll see. That we've got wash in our wings, and we're actually going to take the wash out of this wing. We're going to end up making it level. So, but this is an example. I could take 
and measure over here. See how many millimeters that is. Plug it into our little formula, and that's going to give you the, the, the uh, wash that we have on this airfoil right now. And it really is that easy. So what I'll end up doing is having my son support the trailing edge of this wing. I'll take this part. I've already got the bolt out. Spin it maybe one or two threads and see how much it changes. And you'll get a little formula going. One thread equals uh, so many millimeters at the end, whatever wash or, or level you're looking for. And I really can't do much more than that. It, 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 it's not that difficult. But if you got a heavy wing, a heavy uh, stick, it's pulling to one side you, and uh, you, you haven't washed your wings in or out. It's a real good idea to do that. And you can, uh, you can solve, rather than putting trim tabs on, you can solve a heavy stick by washing and washing out your wings. Just determine which way you need the angle to go. And that's just going to have to be figured out for yourself. Other than that, uh, I hope I didn't confuse everybody too much. Have a great day.